Here in LA, the weather is beautiful, like landed, just 75, sunny, but not too hot. Just very, like, just love that feeling of landing at LAX and walking out and being like perfect weather. No room upgrades available at the SLS, but it's still really cute. Very, like very spacious rooms. Let me show you. So walk in, stuff here, hallway, room. Give you the bathroom first since it's here. Very bathroom, like, there's a robe, thank God, because in Vegas, the hotel didn't have a robe, really weird. Uh, but yeah, this is no bathtub, but that's fine. Honestly, don't really care. Walk in, seat, TV area, seat, bed, lots of mirrors over here. This is probably a closet, maybe not. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this totally opens up. That's cool. So this mirror opens up to the bathroom. Interesting. Bed. Mirror, we love a mirror, photo op already. And then how nice, already sparkling water ready to go. Anyway, I have to go pick up my driver's license that I left at my friend's house here last time I was in LA so I can rent a car tomorrow. I think I'm gonna rent a red Camaro or Mustang. I'm comparing the two because the Teslas, I want a convertible, so no. And then other red convertibles are just pricey out the ass. I'm like, I'm not paying that. So i uh, gonna go do that uh, and probably just stay in and do some work tonight. I just did my skincare routine. Marilla oiled up. Anyway, I ordered from one of my favorite places in the entire world, Sage. It's a restaurant here in LA and they have a couple different locations, obviously not sponsored. So before anyone comes at me and is like, sponsored, not disclosed. I was like, bitch, if I was sponsored by anyone, I would always disclose, whatever. Uh, one of my favorites, so let's open and see what I got here. Okay, so I ordered, I haven't been there in forever, so I don't remember what I've actually gotten there. I don't think any of this stuff, so. Let's open this. I think these are gonna be the cauliflower wings that I got. Okay, yeah, these are cauliflower wings. These come with ranch and buffalo sauce. And then this is gonna be my main, I think, a bowl of things, basically. Back again to partner with us on this video is Scale Network. And I'm excited to announce that Razor Network is now on Scale. Razor is an oracle. And an oracle takes data that is off chain and allows it to be found and located by the blockchain when necessary. So Razor is actually a decentralized blockchain agnostic oracle designed to meet the needs of DeFi that focus on maximum game theoretical security, being fully permissionless and obviously decentralized. See, data is what keeps software alive. And in the scale version, First, the combination of on or off chain data will fuel the applications. So oracles like Razor will help people, projects, get the information and data that they need where they need it. And because Scale has such key features, like multi-chain support and gas fee transactions, and instant finality while still being EVM compatible, it makes it very appealing to build on. Now with Razor on Scale, any dApp that needs immediate data feeds from the internet or any external source can now use Razor's decentralized Oracle system to find that. And this continues to make evident the appeal and impressive nature of Scale's modular network, prioritizing for the ability of builders or creators in Web3 to do this efficiently. And I'm excited to see what more comes to build on Scale. Back to the video. Hair is washed and re-dyed and very voluminous from blow drying it because I didn't curl it or straighten it. I just blow dried it. And we're about to go pick up my rental car. I'm renting out a bright red Camaro. This is the second time I rented out a Camaro. I rented one out in Austin like a year ago when I visited Austin and it just so happened that on the app I'm using, I'm using Turo, not sponsored, but I always use Turo to rent cars. It's just easier. It's like Airbnb, but for renting cars directly from person to person. I noticed that the red cars that were decently priced were either older Mercedes or more more like newer recent Ford Mustangs or Chevy Camaros. And I prefer Camaros to Mustangs. I actually think Mustangs are pretty ugly if I'm honest. So I was like, okay, we'll do a fucking Camaro again. Cause I wanted a convertible and I didn't want, I like Teslas, I love driving them, but I was like, Camaro's best option. I like driving them, they're fun. So I'm gonna go pick that up. Uh, it's overall, it's by LAX, which is quite a while away. I should have done it yesterday, but I didn't have time basically. Um, so then I picked up my driver's license from my friends, which I left here last time I was here. I can actually go do this. And maybe, should I rock the middle part while I do this? Maybe, maybe, we'll see. I feel like Jesus. No, let's go back. Seen forever. Isaiah here is talking about his life data blowing up on TikTok. 
And I think that Isaiah is like guaranteed, like gar guaranteed a few hundred K. Just like by this video going out, maybe you'll already have a TikTok account and it'll be, it'll be legendary. Oh my God, you have to make an account to be on TikTok? All right, cool, shit. I'll get <laughs> on top of it shit anyway, thanks. Yeah, anyway, we have been talking here for like four hours, which is how it always is. Like other people in their vlogs show their friends. And I'm like, when I'm with my friends, I don't think about filming it. I'm like with my friends. And then afterwards I fill in like Instagram pictures or whatever of what we did. But we were just talking about like, we don't think about bringing a camera out when we're with friends. I think about that when I am, I don't by know, yourself. by myself yeah. filming. He just saw me filming TikToks on the bed, which is how this all started. But I'm just TLDR. Here for like support. Right? Yeah. Like, I'm like expert, like, yeah, go in. Yeah. And I'm here to convince him that he would go viral on TikTok. We're about to go to the pool here. We're probably going to get sunset. It'll be cute. Um, we'll see. So, yeah. I'm not supposed to be back home right now at like 10 p.m. I was supposed to be out and about with friends. TLDR, LA traffic, just terrible, everything didn't meet up with said people, uh, just whatever, it happens. So um, I'm back with another Air One situation. Okay, actually before that, I remember that I said I was gonna share my evening skincare routine. I said that I mixed two things, I didn't show them. So I'm taking this moisturizer, I'm not sponsored or anything, and I'm just gonna place this on here. Just like, it's more than it looks, it's very watery. And then I'm taking the marula oil here and I am doing like, let's do like two drops. Two drops is usually good. I mix them a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. And then apply to face. We love clean hair, even though I washed it two days ago. That's still clean to me, we love it. It's very like fluffy. I like dirty hair cause it styles better and it looks a little better laying down, but like clean hair feels really cool and the red's brighter. I mix conditioner and red hair dye. Every single time I wash my hair, I condition with red hair dye mixed in. Also, this was today's Erewhon haul. So this is a little kelp noodle salad with veggies and a peanut sauce. I got a chocolate chip cookie, got some kale, turmeric cauliflower, like broccoli. This is one of their like stir fried broccoli dishes. Couldn't decide what dessert. So I got both a uh, raw banana cream pie thing. And also this, I didn't know which one I wanted. Um, got a pink lemonade cause that is my favorite lemonade that they have. And then they gave me this as their like members thing. Uh, so cacao water. So this is the situation we have here uh, and we'll run through them. So their kelp noodle salads are some of my favorites. I'm really into kelp noodles. I don't understand how to make them well myself. I've tried all the baking soda, lemon, whatever marinades to make them non-crunchy, but they really get it. Maybe it's like a fatty sauce, like peanuts you have to marinate them in. Anyway, all their kelp noodle dishes are great. I love this one in particular. And then this is the combo plate that I got. So this is um, just some broccoli. This is one of their like I know stir fried broccoli dishes. So that's that, they're like crispy. And then I got the turmeric cauliflower. I love this. I'm not sure which cauliflower dish it's technically called, but it's like turmeric roasted cauliflower. And this is an antioxidant salad. It's kale, walnuts, blueberries. It's not quite my favorite as the white bean one, but it's lighter. So it's better for something like this. This is really white. Like maybe it's just me, but this looks very, this looks very white. I was saying that I forget what actual like clean pressed clothes look like because I'm used to living out of a suitcase of half dirty clothes. And then occasionally when I get to a hotel, I'm like, I should do laundry. My laundry this time around was $500. Like that was no excess. Like I don't even, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely, this is why, this is why I have to sit my ass out and trade daily so I can eat and do laundry. Oh, this is cute. I didn't notice this. You have the adult Dolce slides. I have the kids Dolce slides. These are Chanel, but oh, they actually Chanel? look so I, I literally didn't even notice. That's Wait, really these funny. are kids? These are kids. You're so lucky you've been in kids. <laughs> Well, you're so lucky you've been a kid. They're the same as women's, but half the price. I know. So these are size 35s and they are largest kid size. So we're here doing um, work at pool because <laughs> it's warmer at the pool than my room. Imagine working at a pool. Imagine. Do we move to LA? Colin, if I should move to LA or if you get a bad feeling about that. You're I don't know, I'm torn. To LA. <laughs> I, I didn't promise I said I would yeah. stand an extended period of time. I don't know. I, mean, I drove by like this, like after I was driving through like the houses just in like Beverly Hills. And I was like, one day, one day. What, what one street day. were you looking at? My favorite homes are actually on Rexford. The ones I found that were my favorites, yeah. But. Um, I, I don't remember the rest. It was like North Beverly Hills area. Um, so one day. So funny.
I am running late to go meet a friend downstairs who's picking me up, but let's do a little fit check um, before before heading out. He can wait for that. So we're going out, uh, I don't know, some birthday party, and this is what I'm wearing. Basically, I'm in this dress with this necklace, this situation, and then these shoes, and then I'm doing a very messy, like maybe middle part situation. You get it. This is, this is it. going out. It's not even that late, but the event was kind of early. We went at like six. Basically, this was one of the coolest parties I've ever seen. I am just like so inspired for my own birthday now. It gave me like an alien Gatsby vibe where it was very like 20s-ish. Like I feel weird saying that in like 2022, but like 1920s-ish with very like feathers and very old money looking and the most beautiful charcuterie board I've ever seen. I've never seen a charcuterie board that looks this pretty. It is inspired me to do an all red charcuterie board uh, that like will be all vegan, but all red, like all red. Uh, I guess like all red and white. I'll have like vegan cheeses and shit. But this just inspired me with how beautiful the aesthetic was and the lighting and my good friend Ronan, who's just like a fucking genius. Like literally his thing in my phone, his Ronan V, beautiful genius. So that's just like the most, just like encapsulating. Like, I hope you see this. Cause like, thank you. Um, And yeah, highly recommend. He has a project coming out. I'm not gonna make this a, a Ronan promo. Cause he would be like, don't do that. But if you want to check it out, you can, you can find him. Uh, basically, yeah, just a really cool party. And um, I'm gonna get to bed, but 10 out of 10 day. Very cool experience and uh, much recommend going to random parties with your friends in West Hollywood. Good fu- oh my god, Jesus here. Uh, literally, I look like Jesus. Uh, good morning, it is, uh, it's already like 1 p.m. I got up, I went to work out, I did berries today, and um, on my way back, I went by Erewhon to pick up some stuff for today for whenever I get hungry, and that included a ginger shot. I came back here. I yes, I picked at scabs. They're they're healing on my face. I take the ginger shot, and because it has cayenne, I'm literally like hiccuping, like fucking no man's land. I'm in the shower hiccuping. It's literally on my Instagram story. All I can do is hiccup. It's just atrocious. So if you're also someone now, I mean, I didn't have this when I was younger. I feel like it just started within the past. Maybe I did. Maybe no, no, no. I remember getting the hiccups with like Thai food with. The, what is going, I don't even, I, I don't have time for this. Um, I, I remember hiccuping at Thai food restaurants when I would get like one of the lemon, one of the red chili peppers. There was a lemongrass curry I loved at Nita Thai. Shout out to Nita Thai in Houston. You, if, if you were one of my friends in high school, I used to take everyone to Nita Thai all the time. Shout out. I still think of you. Oh my God. I still think of you often and miss your mango, coconut, sticky rice, and your Thai lemongrass curry that I get with tofu, brown rice. But basically the lemongrass included some like spicy ass peppers. Those like little red ones. Those give me the fucking hiccups like throughout my adolescence in my 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 uh, girlhood days my coming of age days Nowadays, I take a fucking ginger shot with a little bit of cayenne and it's like the 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 respiratory system goes crazy I'm like calm down girl. There's no threat. There's no need to be upset. There's no need to be upset But essentially that's been about 30 minutes now dealing with that Um, so i'm going to do some work today I need to work and then tonight i'm actually going to visit the place where i'm hosting my birthday i'm visiting the house and um After that, I think i'm going to go buy hot topic because I need a slut outfit for my birthday And I don't have anything that I haven't worn a million times on in Instagram, so that's an issue. And then we're going to some after party house that apparently my friends are excited to go to. I don't know what the fuck that means. We're gonna show up, I suppose, unless plans change, but I need to do that. Uh, and my birthday is coming together, so yeah. But I actually bought some things from Dolls Kill also on the way back where I illegally parked on Fairfax in some fucking, I think it was a synagogue or a Jewish bakery or something. It was Hebrew letters. Said customers only, but there was Hebrew. And so I was going to pull the like, oh, I didn't read. But my brethren, I'm sure you're okay with it. Uh, Red Camaro needed a place to park. So let's run through what I bought at Dolls Kill. This is not going to be what I can wear to this because just no. The Dolls Kill in Fairfax is like, it's very much a showroom. So they have their current new collections, it seems like. This is not sponsored or anything. Don't. Uh, if you want to, feel free. I love you guys. It's more mostly their like current collections and a lot of it isn't wearable. 
terrible. Not that they do runway, but like it reminds me of what a, uh, what the stores do that do runway, which is their collections in there are not marketable. It's like they're pushing out their brand and it's kind of like a think piece area. I mean, obviously a lot of the clothes are wearable, but if you know they're like Club X line, a lot of it's their club wear and then crazy shoes. And none of it was, they, these were literally the only red things in the entire store. So I got this shirt, live like a devil, die like an angel. These shirts are things that I'll wear for like a season and then I'll resell them because graphic tees, I love graphic tees, but I get tired of them. And I love clothing resale. I do my Depop. I need to actually go through my suitcase and do Depop while I'm here so I can ship things out in the US. And then this is what I'm really excited about, which is this jacket. This is a little hoodie and it comes with a chain. This is a bomber jacket and this is really warm. This is like really, really warm. I got the smallest size so it can be a little bit like right at my waist, but basically it's this um, and then the back has this down it, which I love. So I'm very excited about this. And then I got two other things. Um, the guy said that these sold out really quickly online, which I'm not surprised about. This is a Hanna-Barbera collab, and this is like a bone choker, and then white bone earrings, and I really like it. Right now, I had one of my studs fall out, so I replaced the stud with a safety pin. I don't know if this is in focus, but I have 10 piercings down this ear. I got these all when I was a teenager, so they hurt pretty badly, yes. I did not get them all at once. I got them like a year apart. I got like two and then one. No, I probably waited like six months, but I started getting one that was 16 and finished when I was 18, so a few months apart for each. You have to wait for them to heal. Mine never got infected or anything. I cleaned them for like five years. I'd say until I was 22, I would clean them nightly with a little bit of like wound wash. Um, and then I just put, because I, I liked the look of like 10 studs, but one of them fell out, so I just put a safety pin. And then on this side, I put a safety pin as well so it would match. And I have a, I have like this here, I have that pierced. And usually I have a ring that goes around, but it fell out and I don't know where it is. So I took the stud here, put it here and put two safety pins. That's my story, I need to get to work. Max's first experience with me driving. I feel like you'll get to see him a very, I'm a good driver, I'd say above, uh, I, I wouldn't be too cocky because people always say they're good drivers and they're not, but like above average, like 60th percentile, I'd say. Fast reaction time, but like sometimes directionally challenged. The woman moments come through, but Mulan moment overpowers. Really excitingly, I think I landed on birthday outfits. So I ordered like four and they're all arriving to the house that I'm staying at. So I should get to decide those literally on the day of my birthday, which it's fine. One of them will work. Now I'm heading out to other store actually called Wasteland that everyone recommended I go to. I don't think I'm gonna find a birthday outfit there, but it's worth going to in my opinion, just to see if there's anything I want. I can't decide what the vibe is or what my plans are gonna be for the day basically. So I'm in this situation, which is always a thing. I feel like just it works. So yeah. This is Max's first time in Malibu, and um, it's it, it's cute to see, you know, from, I guess, like London to here is quite a, not even just a culture shock, like a climate shock. But right now it's great. But right now it's funny because I think London has some of the worst weather that whole area does, and I still like London, but I feel like because in the summer it's like atrociously hot, and it's like gross and poorly equipped for that, like Paris, like both cities in the summer are gross. And then it's winter and it's like, I don't have seasonal depression, but I feel like it is just like seasonal depression. But no complaints, I still visit. Like I don't mind the umbrella all the time. So we're waiting on, um, we're waiting on an acai bowl, typical, many such cases. Our acai has made it out. Let me do the, it's kind of messy. I'm gonna try and make less of a mess than what you did. That was like an intentional, just like horrific experience. <laughs> it's just gonna get everywhere. Yeah, but I'm trying to get a bit of everything. Right. Please don't fall. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you rate this like out of 10? Like, yeah, or compared to like other it? things. That, well, I'd say the acai, you can rate that and then rate Malibu and what you've seen of it so far. The acai, that's my first acai right. over a year. So it's like yeah. 12 out of 10. Right. It was also a very good one because it had like plant protein and shit in it that made it taste really, like I could tell that it was a little bit like enhanced. Like cashew butter. Yeah, cashew butter is my favorite nut butter actually. Yeah, what about Malibu, do you think? I think, feel a certain I, think, way. <clears throat> I didn't know what to expect my first time on the yeah. coast, but if I was going to live in LA, yeah. 
think it probably happened. I could see you out here. We're gonna go drive by the bougie houses and pretend that we know. Yeah, okay, I can see. I can see the route um, and we'll go. I remember we drove, I drove by Lady Gaga's house when I was driving my friend, or no, she drove, we, we went and visited someone that lived next to her. Um, so yeah, we'll go drive up there by like the Pepperdine area and see. <laughs> Good afternoon, heading over to get my nails done, which are gel from back in Berlin like three weeks ago probably, but like shout out to this Berlin salon for keep my, keeping my nails like this for three weeks. I'm going to Modern Pamper, which my friend Natalie really recommended that I go to. I have no lashes left, so it's kind of kind of wild in here. I'm gonna be getting stiletto nails, which I used to have naturally. Now I just cut my nails. I don't have stiletto nails anymore, but I'm like, fuck it. Let's go all the way with acrylics, do some really intense, cool goth art and see what the birthday nail situation ends up being. Because of me getting there late and there just being a massive delay when I got there as well. It's been five hours, like it's nearly 7 p.m. now. My appointment was at two and I left here at like one. But my nails look so good. So I'm gonna try to show these as best I can because I am obsessed with them. Uh, thank you, shout out to Modern Pamper. You're really cool, you guys are the best. So um, I hope that you can see this. Like these are, these are my nails. This is this hand and then this is this hand. I feel like you can really see them there. So I did crosses with gems on them and then I did blood on some of the inner fingers and then I did two stickers here. There is a sticker of a skull. Since I have been sitting or driving for literally like seven hours out of the day at this point, I'm gonna go on a fucking walk. I think I'm gonna walk to the Grove cause I need to go by Sephora and get some birthday things. Clearly, you can see that I um, I did just go to Sephora and that I uh, just did a bunch of testers. So this is the bright red right on my knuckle is, let me actually get it out so you can see. See the things? So one thing I got is just face wash. I like Murad a lot and I needed a face wash, so I got that. Um, then I got their birthday gift, which is this uh, Amica set of three things. Let's just let's just open this up. Okay, it's dry shampoo. I literally got some yesterday. This would have been convenient. Uh, a mask. Might use this tonight. And then last thing is another mask. Okay, is this all? Oh, this is a hair mask. Okay, I think one is, I guess this is all hair? Okay, all hair. Well, shit, I thought this was a face mask. I would not have gotten this if it was a hair mask because like I don't use random shit on my hair generally. But yeah, this cleanser is really good if you're just looking for like an all purpose gentle cleanser. I mean, it says like normal to oily skin, but I mean, I have normal skin and it's not dry. Then I got this NARS blush and this blush is called Exhibit A. And I got it because I don't have any bright red blushes. I love NARS stuff when it's like just right out of the package because it's so like smooth. So this is like a bright red, as you can see. It doesn't go on the cheeks bright red or anything, but it definitely is more flush than my usual just like pink blush. I do like the NARS uh, Deep Throated Orgasm. I like both. This is then the burgundy shimmer shade of Lady Gaga's line called House Labs. So this can be lips, cheeks, eyes. It's just like a burgundy shimmer. It is this. It is the burgundy there that's like on the side of my wrist. That's what it evens out into. And then I also got the shade Scarlet Matte, which is the bright red. And that's this. Like this is the Scarlet Matte right there. It's so pigmented. Like a drop literally covered this entire, like a drop, literal drop. Not like a, a, a driblet is more the description. Um, so I got both of these and I might do an eyeliner look because my looks for my birthday are so good I'll show you what I got for my birthday like on the computer and um, Then I got this makeup forever artist eyeshadow. This is like supposed to fill in a palette But I don't have the palette. I just wanted the individual eyeshadow um, I don't know if I'll use this because it's not that pigmented. It's like that it, I mean, it's fine But it's not something where I looked at it and was like, oh, I'll definitely have a use but I don't own any red eyeshadows, so I felt like I needed this, and I mean, I'll just keep it in this, basically. So this is the little haul I got, and I'll show you the outfits that I'm wearing with it. So this is what I'm wearing to my LA party. Uh, it is from Laquan Smith. It's a bra top and skirt that you have to buy separately. This could be really a fail, but low waist is in right now, and... 
I have a ne- I have a chain necklace that this will look really good with. So yeah, I mean, they style it kind of differently here than I would. I wouldn't wear high boots with it because I'll look like I'm three feet tall. I wouldn't have my hair back like that, but I get it's for the shoot. And then I got two possible shoes to go with it. I don't know if I'm going to wear these, these like bloody platforms, or if I'm going to wear these. And I feel like if the reds match, I'm so going to go with these for my birthday, but like the red has to match. And these are also too big. I got them in a seven and I'm a five to five and a half. So uh, we're going to see if that can work. Then for the New York party, I got this bodysuit and pants set from Moogler. They're also separate, but I bought them together. So you can buy the bodysuit and then I bought the pants to go with it as well. So this is the pants. So like the bodysuit and the pants go together, obviously. They dress this with that same chain, or not the same chain, but they dress this with the chain. I would not wear this with that chain. I mean, I get it. It's This is a Bottega bag and necklace, and they're really cute, but I wouldn't wear it like that. And I am think I'm gonna wear it with my red Louboutins. If I don't wear it with my red lubes, I'm honestly gonna wear it with these because that would just be like a funny look. Not funny, it would be like me. But I love this all together. I hope it looks good on me, and I don't know what hairstyle I'll do with this. I feel like I have to do straight hair with this. Like, that would be the look, but not slick back. I don't do slick back. Evidence of massage is clear on my face. I actually look kind of cute, no lashes. This is this is a young, this is a fetus Marin look. Uh, just got the most like beautiful massage from Mariah Hawk on Instagram. I'll drop her at in the description of this video. M E R I A H H A W K. Such a kind. Like she came out here to the hotel, gave me a deep tissue massage after all my trouble. So that was really kind of her. Um, and I have quite a few people working on getting me lash appointments for tomorrow so I can grow up age about five years here but I mean for now this is cute I guess oh, there is one.